All right, welcome back. So that last part of this jumping audio thing, that, that just don't work very well. So we're going to scrap that and um, yeah, we're just going to scrap that. <laughs> so right click, um, delete that. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to delete this whole thing. <laughs> okay. So I have a better idea of how to do this. Um, since we need to do this anyway with a keyboard. So you know how like right, right now when we play the game, um, I mean, it worked, okay? We, we, we get to pick up the object um, and then it, we can jump and all that. Hello, welcome to Platform World. But um, our characters always Good face job. one direction. You ate in pineapple. The animation don't change. Good job, you ate in pineapple. All right, um, so we want to put in like a detection thing where it changed the animation when we press left or right and jump, right? Okay, so we're gonna do our sound that way. So to do that, we want to right click add a new object and then we add a keyboard object. So that will let us detect any keyboard event. So we go back to the event sheets right here, add a new event. So we're gonna do the jumping thing first because that's the easiest one. Um, so going to keyboard. So now you have a couple options here. When key is down, meaning when you hold it down, like every time you, when you when the when you're holding a key down, it'll keep doing it. It'll keep occurring it like the keep doing the action all you can do when it's released or when it's pressed so release and press it only happen once so we're going to do on key press so on key press what we want to do we want to click here um the jumping key is up so when you click the up arrow key we want to tell the sound to play the jumping sound and Okay, let's get rid of the talking person thing because that is just annoying. Okay, let's try this and see if it works. I? Okay. Why is it blocked? <laughs> okay. If if you Chrome browser block it, just unblock it, okay? Let's try it again. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Okay, well, that kind of worked. <laughs> um, all right, well, seems like if we keep jumping up, it will just um, keep firing it. Um, but you know what? Let's not worry about it too much now. Um, let's do the animation first. Like, what happened if we take a turn, click left and right? So, we have to do that uh, back at the player object. So, let's select a player object right here because if we click here, we we'll just select the tile map. Um, so, select the player object. And then we want to edit the animation. So, we have the idle animation. We want to add a new one. Uh, why don't we call this like right or something like that? So it's going walking to the right side. Uh, we want to go to the import frame from strip. So we go back to our main character, the ninja frog. That is a running image right here. Import that. We need to fix that, obviously. Um, that yeah, remember that collision box thing if you click here it'll show it okay why don't we fix it right now because it's important so set to collision box and then i'll adjust it like this it's good enough i guess right click uh apply the whole animation so the entire animation get this all right close enough Okay, maybe, maybe so maybe a little bit further down since they um, they go all the way down here and then we can make this like that. Okay, apply the whole and whole animation. If we do all animation, I both of them. We don't want that. All right, so that's going to the right side. Um, so remember, we're going to loop this and preview. All right, make maybe like make it a little bit faster. Okay, 
So we got the right side, we want to do the left side, duplicate that, and we're going to call this left. And what are we going to do? Well, we can mirror it, but don't, if we click that only mirror one frame, and we want to mirror the whole sequence. So you click on this little arrow, uh, mirror applied to animation. So we flip the whole thing, now we get left and right. So make sure we spell this correctly because we need to um, refer to that. Okay, so now we go back to the event sheet and then uh, we can do add event. And let's see, like if the keyboard detects, um, or well, when the key is down, if we do the left arrow, we want to play the left animation. So, so if the keyboard, if left is down, if we click on the left, we want the player to set the animation. We want to change the animation to left. Okay. And then if the keyboard, if we press down like a right arrow, uh, we want to set the player animation, the animation set to right. And then if the player is not moving, I guess we just go back to idle. So if player, uh, if the speed, compare speed is equal to zero. If the player's speed is zero, like he's not moving, then we're going to set the player animation to idle, I-D-L-E. So if this doesn't work, check the spelling, make sure you spell everything correctly. Um, like you have to spell it the same way, exact same way as you did in the animation editor. Idle, right, left. Okay, let's try this. Hello, welcome to Platform World. All right. So we got left, right, left, right. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Platform World. Alright, so it kind of works, right? Alright, so work on that, and I'll see you on the next video.